I'm taking the unprecedented step of releasing a second bubble today because it was timely that the RBA released the September Financial Stability Review on Thursday after I taped the first bubble on Monday. In the review were a lot of comments about the strength of the banking sector, as usual. But this graph quickly caught my attention. It's a graph of the default rate on Australian securitised loans and it shows a very significant uptick through 2008. It adds further weight to what I said in my first bubble for today that securitised Australian mortgages may prove to be equivalent to US subprime. Of note, subprime loans make up 12% of outstanding mortgages in the US and securitised loans make up 17% of outstanding mortgages in Australia. The RBA does not state any concerns over these data, though they do state that they consider securitised loans to be of lower average credit quality. What's more, they do go into significant detail which in itself shows that it is a subject of importance. A month ago, when the RBA abruptly changed the direction of monetary policy, signalling to the market an impending easing, I wrote in a blog that it may be because data available to the RBA are particularly soft, and my money was on that being increasing mortgage default rates. This suggests to me that I was correct. The RBA review also included this graph showing mortgage default rates across each state. I draw your attention to the very sharp pickup in mortgage defaults in Western Australia and Queensland. Again, this adds further support to my view stated in earlier bubbles that housing markets in these two states are the most vulnerable to price falls. I would also draw your attention to the rise in default rates in New South Wales after the Sydney housing market peaked there in 2003. You may want to go back to bubble 25 and look at the graphs of capital city house price movements, especially for Sydney, and consider the default rate data in that context. It will be very interesting to see how these data unfold going forward. In the RBA scheme of things, they suggest that it is only the non-conforming securitised loans, which account for only 1% of outstanding mortgages in Australia, that are equivalent to US subprime. But I think that, in the fullness of time, we may come to look at the entire securitised sector as being equivalent to subprime, with those non-conforming loans equivalent to the ninja, no income, no job or assets, which made up an extreme but small proportion of subprime lending in the US. Finally, at this stage it is interesting to consider a quote from a Fitch Ratings paper from August 2006 a couple of months after the peak of the US market, roughly where we are right now, and I quote, Despite rising rates and the cooling housing market, performance on outstanding loans generally remains strong. Thank you. www.geocities.com slash homes for Aussies. Standing up for affordable housing for all Australians. Written and spoken by Dr. Brett Edgerton, founder of Homes for Aussies.